SQL Query Optimization for Better Performance. Hi, I am M. Asif Hussain from Nohav Academy. What are we going to learn from this video? We are going to understand what is meant by optimization, what is the optimization technique that we need to follow in SQL Server, what are the different techniques to follow for better performance in order to optimize a query in SQL Server. So before directly explaining you the terminology called optimization, let me give you a very real time basic example, which will be helpful for you in order to understand. So if I uh, talk to you that you are working for morning from 8 a.m. to you know night. So if you are working for 10 to 12 hours per day, obviously there will be a lot of stress. There will be some inactive energy near you to work further. So that is one example. Let me give you another example. If you are a programmer, if you are working as a Python developer or a Java developer and so on, then when you are working in a company, the programming script that you have written in order to do some part of execution, right? So there, if there is a lot of uh, codes that are input in it, okay, so obviously there will be some delay or there will be some uh, time duration that it will be taking to in order to show you the proper result, right? So why this is happening? This is happening because there are many things that we have kept up in a code. There are many things that we have kept in a query. There are different ways that we have uh, used in order to solve a query. But the thing is that whenever we are trying to execute some query in SQL Server or whenever we are trying to execute some script in a programming language, then obviously we need to get the result as early as possible within seconds. Okay, but when it gets delayed, it means that the performance of the query, it means that the performance of the programming script need to be refreshed, need to be optimized so that you can reduce this performance issue and get the solution at the earliest. So for this, we opt for best performance techniques. So for that, what kind of optimization we need to follow? And what exactly is this optimization? Optimization is nothing but it is a technique to improve the performance. It is nothing but it is a technique to improve the performance. So for example, if the employees in a team, in a company, they are not working effectively, though if they are working effectively, the company is not getting the proper result, then what they do? Company gives some holidays or company gives some gifts and though they make the employees to uh, involved in some activities to play some sports or they arrange some cultural activities, some outings you know, some so on. With this, what happens when we have some peace of mind, you know, when we are getting refreshed, then there might be the chances that the performance of the team might be improved and they work better. All right. In the same way, it is a technique to improve the database performance. So now let us see what are the different techniques for optimization. So creating an index always plays a very important role. In my previous videos, I have explained what is meant by index. Okay, as the part of index, when we hear the word index, we immediately have to think about our textbooks that we have studied in our school age and college age, right? So what happens in the textbook? As soon as we open the first page, we see the index page or we see the content page. What will be there? So which chapter is belonging is there in which page number? Which subtopic is there in which page number? So why is the index page mentioned there? Why is the content page mentioned there? So that without search, starting searching from page number one to till what chapter you want, it is very easy that we find the page number directly we can go there, right? So it is reducing the time duration to search the topic that we want. In the same way, creating index will help you to improve the search performance. So if you are not using an index, please use index for the better performance. That is first technique. When I talk to you about the second technique, so you need to use union all rather than choosing union. Okay. The reason is that the union all, it will show you every record from the database. Rather, 
the union it will remove the duplicate values and show you the unique records for example you have millions of records in your database now when you want to retrieve some information when you opt for union in your query right what will happen from that million of records first you should find out how many duplicates are there so out of the duplicates it should remove the duplicates and give you the unique result so it takes some time with which you can get the result some in a delayed way so rather than choosing union it is suggestible to use union all and if i talk to you about the third technique so many of them what they do they whenever they want to retrieve a table for example you have millions of records there are many columns and many rows in that now when you want to see only some specific records so to only see some two to three columns what people do they usually fetch the complete table at all Sel they use select star from table name so rather than using this select star if we try to use select the required columns that we want to see in the output that will help you to improve the performance of the query so that is a very important thing that we need to understand so the now you might have a question when there are many columns then how should i know that which columns i have in my table that you can easily see in the object explorer we can go to the databases which database which table name under that what columns name are there we can see in object explorer so whichever columns you want we can select only those columns to see it in the output so if i talk to you about the next technique we can minimize the usage of distinct what will happen as it takes the time to search and get the unique values as how we uh, have listened about this union and union all uh, we should try to you uh, know think in such a way that okay if i want to get the result in a uh, early way if i want to improve the performance of my query without any delay then we should minimize the usage of the distinct as a function now if i talk to you about the next technique we need to use stop or limit to check the data so many of them what they do rather than uh, using the stop or limit they write the select statement with the where clause uh, and then they get the required result so if you want to see top 5 customers from a customer table you can easily select top 5 from customer table we get top 5 customers so on what basis on basis of the sales profit or whatever uh, might be the scenario or condition that you are working with the table or the database so using a top or limit will be very much helpful for you to see some appropriate information which we require so another important technique is that avoid using multiple joins what people will do you join table 1 table 2 table 3 table 4 you joining more than 3 or 4 tables obviously it will be delayed in getting the result out of it so rather than joining multiple tables we should make sure that okay rather than joining four tables or five tables let us join two to three tables and get the result out of it so how are you going to use it which joins inner join outer join left join so uh, full outer join right join which join you are going to use it purely depends upon the scenario and the situation which you are working in but please make sure to avoid these multiple joins with lesser joins itself we should get the result in the output so another important thing is that many of the people they do this mistake till today i see though they are freshers develop you know experienced people and all so whenever you are inputting some you know characters information for example if you want to input the column name called employee name right if you want to create an employee name column then do not give character as a data type the reason is that as i have given you an example here this character data type the size of the characters the maximum limit is 200 that i have given so now my name is asif a s i f so only four character space it will choose out of this 200 so rest 196 character space got wasted okay so rather than choosing character if we choose varchar so what is the big difference between character and varchar in varchar also though i give the maximum size as 200 though it is considering only four character space the remaining 196 character space it will use for another purpose in sql server so using varchar as a data type is very much suitable when compared to character data type whenever you are choosing a character data all right so that is one thing and another technique is that please do not use this particular symbols called you know is not equal for is not equal to and try to get you know in one way in one query many people try to get many solutions so rather than choosing this is not equal to and all i suggest to use the two separate queries for this one so for example if i see here i would like to see the 
first name and age from the employee table where age is less than or greater than 30 you know less than or equal to 30 or we need to avoid this so if you want to get some age which is less than 30 write a separate query if you want to see the age which is greater than 30 write a separate query writing a separate query in a simple query does not uh, you know impact much right so but if you try to but you are giving some confusion to sql query that we need to see less than or equal to or greater than or equal to so in order to avoid uh, in order to avoid this confusion we need to write a separate query so these are the you know, few important techniques which everyone have to consider whenever you want to optimize your sql query for better performance in sql server so thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning